Okay, Christian Livingstone here again, and uh, I'm still kind of excited about this Mobius Action Cam that I've mounted atop of my uh, electric hand cycle. And uh, I've only had this little dash cam, spy cam, uh, action cam up there for two days now. And I'm, you know, every day kind of taking a little clip and testing it out. And I'm really enjoying it, uh, as the other clips uh, on Facebook and my YouTube channel uh, show. But uh, what I uh, intend to do today is uh, a little uh, expansion of the whole concept of what it's up there for. And uh, what I mean by that is I intend to uh, hop on and uh, go down the street. It's not very far to my favorite supermarket, which I uh, ride into uh, quite often uh, on the hand cycle. And, you know, of course, the store doesn't bug me. I'm a poor little crippled boy. And, you know, they probably think it's a little unusual, but the staff there really likes me. All the checkers and managers I've talked to and... Uh, uh, that's kind of another feature of the electric hand cycle itself is that, you know, I've usually had to be more assertive in social interactions, uh, you know, throughout my life, but even maybe a little more so after I had this uh, accident that uh, it kind of impaired a little bit of my ambulating. Uh, you know, I can get around with uh, uh, two canes and walk kind of like a little old lady, little old man, but... Uh, you know, that kind of, it's a little off-putting to people, you know, maybe they feel sorry or something, and, you know, I roll around on a wheelchair most of the time, uh, indoors and around, around to the yard and stuff. But uh, when I get on the hand cycle, it kind of turns it around, uh, in that uh, people usually initiate conversations with me, and uh, they're more assertive with me when I get on it. They're just... Uh, uh, they just like it, and uh, I like that too, because, you know, I'm generally assertive, and I find most people are shy, so I don't have to be so assertive with this. They come to me a little bit, and uh, you may see that tendency. Generally, when I go into a supermarket, even before there was any accident or hand cycle, I would usually make a point. I'm kind of from the school of uh, rational emotive therapy, and I used to kind of teach it to, to some people, and so... I'd usually make it a point to at least uh, initiate a verbal interaction with a stranger about three to five times. If I go into a supermarket, I'm going to initiate a conversation with somebody I don't know. It's just a, a thing of mine. But, uh, you know, it's kind of unfortunate that I do that, that people aren't kind of doing it to me. I, I kind of appreciate somebody. Hey, uh, by the way, what do you think of this product? And blah, blah, blah. So I kind of do that too. Uh, but that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to ride this in to my supermarket down the, the road. Uh, I'll try to make this a seamless clip so, you know, there won't be any edits. You'll see just uh, in situ or in vivo uh, how it goes. And uh, it gives rise to another uh, topic about, uh, you know, the store policy. Do do they, you know, have a policy against customers coming in while they're videotaping? And I don't know what the store policy is there. I, I do know that this uh, uh, store in the larger corporation, uh, Kroger Foods, but this store, Dillon's, I was in there when uh, some little ninny came in and was complaining to the manager about uh, this guy having an open carry handgun on his side. And he was saying to the manager, right, as I was coming out of the checkout, and uh, he was whining, oh, he, he can't bring a gun into the store. And the manager uh, quite nicely informed him, oh, yes, he can. It's part of our store policy. We don't, you know, uh, have a policy against it. And uh, so, you know, I, I kind of like uh, Dylan's stores for that reason. I think anybody, uh, you know, should support uh, stores that do that. Uh, but when it comes to, uh, videotaping, uh, you know, I, I respect the right of private property and, uh, you know, a supermarket is private property, even if it's held by a corporation, a group of uh, shareholders, individuals, or a family, uh, you know, it is private property, which is open to the public. And some people seem to think that, you know, uh, 
private property like a store or something is you know the public space but it's not it's just open to the public so some people i think are quite misguided and, and think that you know oh i should be able to come into a store and you know breastfeed my baby out in front of everybody and how dare they try to stop me don't they know that this is a you know a sacred uh, right you've got to feed the baby and oh you know i should be able to do it wherever and whenever or however i want and uh, you know i i I like the fact that the stores say, no, no, you're not in a, in a public space. This is private property, and our, our uh, policy uh, is that, uh, no, you can't dance, smoke, or breastfeed. And uh, too bad if you don't like it. So back to the camera idea. Now, you know, the store, Dylan's store, and virtually every other uh, big supermarket chain, uh, you know, I know this particular store has, you know, video cameras that they're recording you. And so I'm just going to go on the presumption that, you know, they're doing it. It seems only fair that I can do it too. Now, you know, there is no presumed privacy uh, in those stores because they are doing it. And uh, I will be doing it too. Now, this is a very stealthy little camera up top here uh, as I've... Uh, uh, shown in the other videos so you know nobody may even notice or ask but if they do ask I'll, I'll say sure I'm, it's recording right now I just keep it going wherever whatever I'm doing so we'll do that uh, I'll just go into the store I've got a, a batch of uh, uh, hard apple cider that I'm uh, brewing up and I, I think the fermentation is just about done but I, I want to sweeten it up and get a little more of that apple flavor back up and uh, you know I'm not a real expert on cider I, I brew a lot of beer but uh, the apple cider is kind of new for me so what I'm going to do is uh, use uh, I believe uh, maybe one can of uh, apple juice concentrate to sweeten it up and give it uh, some of that apple flavor back because after it you know ferments out and leans out it's, it's not real tasty so I think sweeten it up again will will be helpful so that's primarily what I'm going for is uh, a can of apple juice concentrate and uh, I'll hop on this sucker right now but uh, uh, you know that privacy issue uh, I don't know we'll see how it goes I mean uh, you know I'm a kind of a believer in the old uh, adage that uh, it's easier to get forgiveness than it is permission. So I'm not going to ask. I'm just going to do it. And we'll see how it goes. Do, 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 do. Mm, 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 mm. Get it up. Or see. Do, 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 do. All right. I suppose I'll start recording. And, uh, we're going to go to the supermarket. And See how it goes. Pick up some apple juice. Do, 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 do. Do, 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 do. Where's that dog of yours? Are you ready to play, boy? You in the mood? Huh? Ah, 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 
Come on, boy. It's the middle of December here on the Great Plains uh, of North America and it's uh, really a fine day. As you can see it looks good, it's still and uh, the temperature is about 65 degrees and uh, the electric hand cycle uh, does especially good at that temperature. That's what it's uh, rated for as far as uh, output and efficiency so I go a little faster uh, at these temperatures rather than you know when it's 35, 40 degrees out in the cold, so now I've got a speedometer on this uh, cycle analyst, and I can usually get up to about uh, 25 miles an hour when uh, it's this temperature, and as long as I got the tires pumped up pretty well. So we'll see about speeds and all that stuff. Okay, let me see. I'm looking. This is a big news store, so I don't really recall where the frozen concentrate juices are, but look, there they are. I found some. Maybe there's something else I can get. Do, 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 do. Do, 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 do. quiet in the store today, or right now, take a quick, quick run around, you can see nobody's really 
shocked uh, that, oh look, he might have a little camera on there. There is something. Oh, you don't work at, at this store, huh? Okay. <laughs> Do you know where the uh, uh, steak rub is? A spicing steak rub? There's one of the managers. Uh, she'll know. Thanks. She's actually the uh, human resources gal. Hey there. You working with the public today? Yes, I am. I work with the public every day. I thought you were human resources. I am. So you're a uh, stat. You do it all. Okay. How about uh, steak rub? Isn't there a, a little uh, steak rub uh, around here? Um, yes, we should have some. It should be in the aisle over here. Okay. I don't have to. I don't have to be first. <laughs> yeah, one of your spices, steak rub, you know. Okay. It's called Fat Boy, this stuff I'm oh, looking for. Huh? I know you will. I think I can. Yeah, this is a big store. I do. I really enjoy this store. It's a lot wider aisles. I, I, I enjoy it too, but it makes me run an awful lot. I know. It's good for you. How's everything going with you this season for the holidays? It is going very good. Oh, Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. What would your name be? Christian. Hi, Christian Christy. Livingstone. I've been in here a lot. You I remember know. me from yeah. the old store. I just, I'll try to remember my name, but I don't know that I will. Uh, another manager I, I mentioned, I think, before, uh, Pam, she remembered my name. She was real pleasant on one occasion. I thought I lost something out of my bag, and she uh, rolled the videotape for me. And, you know, it was silly of me. I was uh, going home with uh, my bag loosely uh, fit in there, and some of the uh, gift cards flew out of it on my way home. And uh, I went back about three times, and uh, I found one of them. So, you know, it was no foul play. It was just, uh, I learned that this thing has a, a, like a torrent of air going through it. So uh, I tie them off. I don't know if they fly out. Yeah, yeah, me too. And she's still with uh, she's Kroger. With, yes, she's with the company. She's managing a store over in Wichita. Mm -hmm. Nice, nice. So she's doing just fine. I talked to her well as prior before Thanksgiving. She was doing mm. very well. Yeah, one of your guys uh, recommended this uh, steak rub to me, and I'm really digging it on the cheaper cuts of meat, especially like the uh, uh, top sirloin yeah. steaks. This is the one. It's just that a little one. milder, yeah. Man, I'm digging it. Thank you, Sandy. Thank you. Have a good day. Okay. Yeah, this is a new store, and uh, it really, I think, gives uh, Walmart, uh, uh, the Walmart Superstore, uh, not too far away from here, uh, a good run for their money. You know, of course, Walmart can't be beat for the prices, but uh, this, this store is sure pleasant. All right. I think I'll just get out of here now. Do, 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 do. Do, do, 
Express, yeah, that one should have been the one I took there. Boy, they... They're all gone. Alright. Get on back to that. Do, 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 do. I saw y'all alone there. How are you today? Oh, good. I just have two small items. Do you like these I do. Do, 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 do. No, thanks. Bye bye, Danielle. Well, you are kind of Santa looking, aren't you? Yeah, how you doing? Good. Hey, you seen uh, Arthur uh, around lately? He's a bell ringer, a big black guy. I think he's at Walmart. Walmart, okay. Yep. Do, 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 do. Maybe I'll cut it short uh, around this point and pick it up back at the end, but I don't know. Maybe I'll just pick it up when uh, I get back in my place. Mustang did though. Barely.
mom's house. I actually uh, do her uh, lawn maintenance uh, right there, this house across the street. But his, uh, the guy with the truck, uh, his uh, uh, place he was renting burnt down. So he's staying in a motel or something right now. I was talking to him yesterday. But I don't see him out. But the garage door is open. So check on him another time. like it's a good day to be a dog over there, huh? Yeah. Do, 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 do. I see you looking over here, boy. It's a good day to be a dog, huh? <laughs> I'll leave you alone. Unless you want to give chase, huh? You in the mood? I'm antagonize you. Let you chase if you want to. Come on. Come on if you want to. Nah, he's not going for it. This is my melon garden. It's a little barren right now, of course. Alright, let's call it a day. At least for this video purpose. Oh, look who's here. And there you have it. So, uh, you know, the uh, camera seems to be, uh, uh, you know, unintrusive as far as the perception of others uh, is concerned. You know, the staff, the management there, I was filming right at the time. Of course, I didn't, you know, say, hey, look, guess what? I'm filming. Is that okay? No. So, it's going well. And uh, I think that'll uh, conclude this little segment.